Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe here, back again. Uh, it's Data Analytics Ireland. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, just wanted to do a quick posting on how to import data into Excel. So in a previous post, which I won't go into now, but I will put a link in our blog posting, I talked about um, how to check for invalid characters in the data sets, a bit of data quality control, so on and so forth, and looping and going through a data set and finding all the errors. So the output of all that was this, so the data frame. This was a list we were checking against. So I'm not going to go through that code again, but as I said, I will put the link in the blog post to that particular uh, video. So what we want to do is, now we've done all our work on identifying all the errors and the fixes associated with them. So next step is, well, we want to put this into a file. So we're going to work on today, put this into Excel. So the first thing we need to do is in Python, there's a thing called XLXX Writer. Uh, what that allows you to do is allows you to take your data frame and basically write it to um, an Excel file, okay? So essentially the first thing you need to do as part of this process is you, you need to create a variable called writer. And that writer is just basically taking the data, telling to take the data frame and Excel writer and take this particular, export to this particular file. So when the, it's finished and completed, the name of the file that will be complete opened up is this, okay? So first thing to be wary of is when you're using XLSX Writer, it can it only create new files. So if you're trying to manipulate the files or you're trying to change them or add in new stuff or format the fonts or add color to it or and so on and so forth, it can't be done with this. It can only read or modify existing files, okay? Uh, it cannot, sorry, should I say read or modify existing files. So the bones of all this is we're basically going to say, going to take the data frame, which created up above here. Okay, so as part of this, all this code, it outputted a data frame, which is this here. And we're going to take the data frame, and we're basically going to say, create this file here, and then basically put the data in and basically create a tab called analysis. So if you don't put any, there is some additional logic you put in here. If you don't tell it where to put it on the sheet, it will just default to cell A1 in the Excel file. So these next two lines are pretty straightforward. We're gonna save it and then we're gonna close. Very important, always when you're trying to run your logic, um, save and close um, just to free up any resources on your whatever you're using either your server or on your local PC. Okay, so we have the file created. Um, so what I want to do is actually show you the file here. It's been created here. So I've been working on this here. So just in the logic, um, what we've been doing, which I'm going to show you this in a second, but basically there's your tab called analysis and there is the output from the data frame. So as you can see, pretty straightforward. It's in there. This obviously, the bigger the data frame, more information in it, the bigger and longer this is. Okay, so we go back here. So the next step down here is basically we've asked the logic to, um, we've, because we've, we've created a variable here called import, or import WB, we've, uh, we've asked it to load the workbook and basically our basically called the existing sheets called analysis, okay? And what we're doing here is because we're loading the workbook, we're setting it up to um, create a new sheet. So here is a piece of logic, very straightforward. Uh, we're gonna call it new sheet. Um, I'm gonna equal to this import to be create sheet. So this piece of logic here, create sheet. And we're gonna call it new sheet. So when we go back here, it's called new sheet, okay? And we tell it position one. The reason we tell it position one is this one here, analysis is position zero. So all this logic here is doing is telling it when you create this new uh, sheet in the Excel file, called new sheet, put it uh, one, the 
after the first sheet that's already in there. So the first sheet has a default or has a value of zero. So you just put it to one. So if we were creating another one, we just change that to two. So next thing we're going to do is just to show you just a couple of things to work on. I'll be doing plenty more on this. So there's lots more we can do with Excel with Python, but just show you a couple of things we can do. So this line here actually goes and gives the new sheet tab, which we created in this line here, a uh, color yellow. Okay. So when we go back here, as you can see, it's got the color yellow. Okay. So there you are, yellow. So you can change that to any color you want. Obviously you just change these values here. That's very straightforward and you can get those values anywhere in the web. Um, next thing I want to do is in the new sheet, um, we're going to change the value. So the default is obviously that there's nothing in B3, but we're just going to say this is some text. So again, what you can do is if you want to put some, uh, you can assign any, you can assign any particular cell you want and just tell it to some text to go in there. Uh, so what we've done here, uh, again, is cell is column B, cell three, this is some text. Okay, so before we go any further, I wanted to just show you that. A um, couple of more steps we're going to go through now. We're going to change. Um, so what's going to happen now in the next steps is this tab name is going to change. Okay, once I, I'm going to uncomment this and run the logic. So that's going to change to new analysis. Okay, once I reopen it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this tab um, into a new sheet and it's going to appear here. So I'll just close this temporarily. Okay, just long, don't say that's fine. So, first thing I do is just uncomment this, obviously, and then I'm going to do this and this. Okay, so what's going to happen here now is basis. We've created a variable called source sheet and we're basically telling it to look at this here um, and the new analysis. Okay. And this is the new analysis um, will is the it's it's a new it's new title we've put on up here. Okay. So basically that's that there, okay. And then what we're gonna say is the copy, so basically go and copy the worksheet, the source sheet here which is new analysis. So this was called analysis, changed it. The values inside it haven't changed. We've changed it to new the name to new analysis. We've referenced the new analysis name down here as a source for it to be copied from. We've then told this new variable here, which is the new tab will be created, copy in anything from the source sheet, which is the new analysis. So if I run this now, just give me two seconds and we go back in this up now so first things first tab has changed so it's called new analysis as you can see data is the same nothing has happened to the data it's all absolutely fine new sheet absolutely fine b3 that's what we, sh we saw before so now what it's done is it's created a column called new analysis copy or tab should i say called new analysis copy so in there is the data um, from new analysis here exactly the same to obviously two different tab names so that's a very brief introduction um, to exporting any data frames or any data you have you've created within Python into Excel so I will be building on this um, I'm trying to make each video a build on the last one so I will probably build on this one to do a lot more work on it and show you a lot more functionality but i just wanted to give a brief introduction of how would you take how you would take a data frame set of data export it into excel manipulate the sheet tabs change colors add new data copy data um, so very very straightforward stuff It'll get people started as i said at the start of the video there's plenty more we can do and i do plan to show plenty more on this i just this was just an introduction so Thank you for visiting Data Analytics Ireland. Hope you've liked the video. Hope you've gotten benefit out of it. Appreciate uh, subscribe to our channel. Be really appreciated. Um, you know, we've got all our social icons on our website page as well. If you want to go there, you can follow us on Twitter.
Facebook as well. So uh, we post all these videos through those mediums as well. So you'll catch us some way. So thanks for visiting again and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.